Welcome back to the show, everybody. Still the most dangerous hand in all the multiverse of loose. And we are live in Google motherfucking Chrome because not as soon as I made that video, the website actually went live. Because one of the things I did check to see if this website was live, even though the trailer leaked, it wasn't. But now it is. And given that I have taken a small look at this, it's like this is worth looking at for a whole bunch of reasons because there are just some things that need to be understood and some things that we can speculate on that still need to be understood. Well, here's what you can understand right now. This game will be out in 2019 and you can pre-order it now or watch the trailer, which we already have, but we're going to talk about pre-ordering a bit later, but we will go ahead and scroll down just a little bit. Mm. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. A modern take on the 25-year franchise, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid showcases stunning graphics with vivid details. Pit current and classic rangers and villains like never before in team battles. Test your skills online against friends and players from around the world for endless replayability. A streamlined combat system welcomes newcomers with simplified controls while maintaining depth for the most dedicated competitor to learn and master. This right here, when I took a look at this, answered one of my questions once I did find out that, yeah, technically this is a spinoff of Legacy Wars. Given this information, I don't think this is going to be what Legacy Wars is. This is going to be at least a straight-up fighting game, at least at a minimum. What that actually entails is, I don't know, and like I said in the other video, given the history and where we are currently with the fighting game, with Dragon Ball Fighters being one of the most dynamic fighters, which is easy for people to get into, but has the depth needed to really survive in a, in a competitive environment. Like, it, it's reverse Super Dragon Ball Z. And I will say this for the umpteenth time. I love that game to death like nobody else does. The thing is, when it comes to Super Dragon Ball Z, one thing I have to understand is it was not made for Dragon Ball fans in mind. And, and I understand that now far from far flung from that past me who sat up here and, and wanted to give praise to a game that still does it very well, but that game has a learning curve and given what Dragon Ball fans really want, Dragon Ball Fighters is what is what Super Dragon Ball Z should have been. Something that was in there for all the fans to like get used to, but something complicated under the hood for people to get used to. I will still parade and still praise Super Dragon Ball Z for being what it is and being unapologetic for it. But Dragon Ball Fighters does it a whole lot better and in a way that's easy to digest. And even I at this juncture can appreciate that. Still go play Super Dragon Ball Z because even for if not even for its semi-complexity given the audience that it may have been aimed for, still one of the best fighting games in the business, period. No lies detected. Moving right along. 25 years of Rangers. Generations of Power Rangers collide across the multiverse's 25 year history. Experience authentic but reimagined Power Ranger battle sequences like never before. Now, I just randomly thought about this in my head, but then got my answer because when I sit up here and think about Legacy Wars, I'm trying to think. Hold up. At this juncture, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is, let me see. The only seasons that I can think of off the top of my head that do not have any representation that I can think of off of my dome, Alien Ranges, um, I don't think there is a Zero Ranger in that video game because no, no, no. I take that back. Catherine is Zero Ranger, Zero Ranger One. Yes, so never mind because yeah, she's Zero Ranger One because Cassie is Turbo Pink in um in Legacy War. So that's taken care of. Um, technically, there isn't a hero. For Lost Galaxy, but Trakina's a playable character. Um, let me see. Um, Danny was in it from the beginning, but we recently both not only got Merrick, but Zenaku too. So, that's covered. Um, Ninja Storm just got covered. Blake just recently came out. Um, um, I don't, 
wait, hold on. Give me no. Give me a second. Give me a second. Um, there isn't any Mystic Force representation. Oh, no, wait. I take that lie back. Um, Udon and Korak, they are both in there. Um, I don't think it's nobody from Operation Overdrive. Not that anyone I could think of. It's like. Yeah, no, ain't no, no Operation Overdrive yet, but I got a feeling. I got a feeling that this would be it. That um, that Legacy Wars would probably, if they gonna do somebody from that season, would probably be Sentinel Knight. That that would that that seems to be the outlandish ways they usually go. And given what Operation Overdrive is, um, there's really not a lot to do with that. Um. When's Plan Xander? I, I don't know. You know, what I'm I just wanted to say Plan Xander in a sentence. Um, let's go through the rest of this. Um, RPM didn't have any representation until Gemma. So there's that. You would have thought we'd have got some Dylan, uh, some some at least some Dylan and some Tanaya Seven, but you know, there there are things we should discuss about that. But I don't think. Adelaide Kane is such a hottie. Um, sorry. Um, um, Rose McIver's a goddess. Um, sorry. No, I'm not sorry those things came out. Moving right along. And then everything else has representation when you get into the Neo Saban era. There, there isn't, actually, you know what? I take that lie back. There aren't any normal Mega Force characters. Why? Well, why? I guess. Well, no. Um, I'm sorry. I take that back. Robo Knight. Robo Knight is in, but for some reason he's represented as a super Mega Force character, which makes no sense. But he's technically a Mega Force character. Um. Yeah, and then you know, um, Preston he in the game and Coda in the game. You know, what I'm saying Blue Brothers and all that old good stuff. And then you you get into like and you get into the you get into the comic books with with um with the Black Dragon and and Lord Dracon and I'm like Ranger Slayers in the game I'm like they even got Jack Thomas in the game and I'm like I appreciate that if for not only for for you know before Bulk finally getting the love he deserves. So, if, if anything like that, you know what I'm saying? My boy probably tried getting the love he deserves. Because I'm like, I'll admit, Hyperforce was really good. Like, I went back. I didn't watch it live, but I went back and, like, peeked at it after the fact. They told a really kick-ass story. I got to admit that. I got to admit that. Just live on wax. I got to admit that. But everything mostly Rangers covered, like I said, except for Alien Rangers. But I don't know how you do that. Because given... What Alien Rangers is versus its Sentai counterpart and what you could actually do with that, um look at the up oh, look at the top right of the screen. This is all I got for you because this is all I got. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, should be interested to really see exactly what it is that they do because I will say this for Legacy Wars. It's like it is a really great roster of the characters you expect and some you don't. I'm like, yo. I was finna sit up here and make a joke and say something about Miss Squan Shiratori. About about Doggy Kruger's about Doggy Kruger's bird pussy. But we would not do Doggy Kruger bird pussy jokes today. Wait, I just did one. But yeah, cats in the game. I'm like, that's kind of dope when you really think about it. For a character that only did work in Power Rangers one time, she in the game. That's kind of dope. I got, I gotta appreciate that. That's going down like that. Shout out to Enway putting in work. Moving right along. Um, easy to learn, hard to master. Gone are overly complicated command and puts are wrong patterns. And it's easy to learn but hard to master game. The death is knowing when to strike, not how. The the mobile game is like that. Like, given even though my problem with being able to do a block in the middle of a combo, and given that I said this earlier, you want to know what I did? Like, I randomly found a bag of Game Boy Advance games and then put in Kingdom Hearts or Chain of Memory because I realized I'm missing the One Wing Angel Keyblade. But then I randomly pulled it in a Moogle room and then had to restart the game because I probably don't want to do that, bruh. So, things of that nature. Something, something, Jay, if you listening, and I'm talking to you, 
not not sparring Jay, but actual JJ, that we were supposed to do something for Kingdom Hearts 3 and actually do a link battle. So um, I'm going to bother him about that and see if we can get that popping off. Just letting y'all know what plans may be. So there's that. Moving right along. Ooh, online, you know, for people who believe in that or whatever. Play against your friends and test your skills against live players from around the world. Participate in special tournaments and missions throughout the year. This live game always offers something new. Okay, fair enough. Cross-play and cross-progression. Matchmaking is made easy as players on Xbox One, Switch, and PC can compete in the same pool. Swap platforms and your unlocked characters and mission progressions come with you. That's kind of dope. Given that PS4 has recently got on the crossplay train, maybe this a change? But you're not Rocket League or Minecraft or Fortnite, which is Fortnite for whatever reason, but maybe this a change. Who knows? And, and this picture is really dope because you see Jason doing attack and Gia following it up, which I think is really cool. So, you know, there's that. Hmm. Something, something, Mount Ichi Michi. But no, never mind. That's a that shit. Um. Anywho, um, we can watch this trailer. We won't. We won't put your email address in here because I'm not putting mine in here. At least on the front of this camera, even though my email address is plastered everywhere on this YouTube channel. Let's take a look at some. Well, actually, you're not know, clicking the wrong button. Let's take a look at the characters. Jason Lee Scott. Jason Lee Scott is the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, Red Ranger, and a natural born leader. A 17-year-old black belt, Jason Side Smile betrayed his rugged young warrior mantle to reveal a kid next door with a bit of a mischievous streak. You want to know what? I'm going to say this live. <laughs> Yesterday, I watched that video where Austin St. John talked about when he came back as the Gold Ranger. That shit was so hilarious. I'm like, shout out to Austin St. John, like, getting out there, you know what I'm saying, and taking control of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but that was a dope story, I gotta admit, like, yo, because I, I remember back in the day, I was so hyped when Jason came back, because Jason was that dude! Like, Jason was the guy, and then, peace conference, nigga, and it's like, yeah, that happened. But then, anyway, moving right along, Miss Gia Moran from Super Mega Force. Gia, the yellow Super Mega Force Ranger, is generally unflappable and carries herself with a sense of confidence that comes from her success. Strong and capable, Gia will never back down from protecting her friends. Is this just like, okay, that's just left and right. Oh, I'm just wondering, like, okay. Like, I was finna say, like, I was finna pull up the mobile game and see if these things were cloaked straight from Legacy Wars. Actually, we're actually gonna do that. <laughs> we're actually going to do that. So, we're going to take a a non-brief commercial break while I walk into a mobile game, which I need to check because it's about time to see what I get in my random drop today, and I gotta wait a couple hours because it's raid day, like Dre day. It was easy e payday, so I'm pulling up the game now for you. I, I don't know how this actually looks if I if I point it at the screen to you, but yeah. This version is not supported. Oh wow, for real? So I interrupt this video to update the video game. And I ain't got no room on this damn phone, number one. Let me see, how how much space is this? Like, how much space does this need? That wouldn't would need nothing, for real. Like, there was an update yesterday. Let me take a look. Um, It was an update yesterday. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that don't help me. That don't help me in any way. Are you done yet? The streets is waiting. Do, 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 boo, boo. do, 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 Installing a mobile game. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Hashtag everything is content. Bitch, that's not part of the hashtag. Alright, so we updated this video game, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Oh boy. I'm seeking a free to play game. I need to check in with Let It Die and like see, you know, what happened with the update or what's going on with the game now since uh ooh, let me turn it down. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's copyrighted music homes. I don't know if people finna own that. So let me see. What's going on here? Do, 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 do. 
I got a Mega Black Dragon Shard. Hooray! Hooray! No, I'm not doing your VIP thing. Okay. Okay, let me see. Oh, if I pay a dollar, I can unlock you, Donna. If I also pay a dollar, I can unlock Preston, but I got eight Preston shards, so why would I pay a dollar for that? Like, if I want the Thunder Megazord, it's going to cost, um, it's going to cost ten dollars, um, I can get a chance of Zenaku for a hundred. Like, I have only spent, I spent Power Crystals on accident, like, when I still didn't understand how the game worked on Preston, because I'm thinking, like, yo, that unlocked the character. No, that unlocks the chance of the character. You're an idiot, and it's like... You're probably right about that, but it is what it is. I'm like, is this an assist, is this assist you, Donna? No, this is leading you, Donna, for a dollar. It's not bad, but I don't spend money on fear games. Um, let me take a look here. I am going to bring up. Let me see. No! Oh no! Oh, okay, get, get, okay, hold up. Okay, I need I need to bring it back to me for a minute. Hold up, hold up. Let me bring it back to me for a minute. Let me bring it back to me, right? Hold up. Can, can y'all see this? Can y'all, I, I want I want y'all to get real close on that, right? I want y'all to get real close. Like, like let me let me let me get that in your grill area. You feel me? Like, just just, just let you know. Now, bring it back to Google motherfucking Chrome for a minute. I ain't, even, I ain't even trying to do this on Northern Exposure shit, dog. But why? Why? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How do you insult the great Cornholio? What the fuck? I'm hella dead. I'm hella dead. I, I, I don't believe. I don't believe. Well, actually, you know what? I definitely fucking believe. Never mind. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. With this bullshit. You gotta be kidding me with this bullshit. You know what video game? I ain't even mad, bro. I ain't even mad, bro. Hey, hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna show y'all what I got on my on my pool today. But log it in. Let me show y'all. Let me bring it back to me for a minute. Like this is what I got, fam. I got some 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 tokens and I got some some shards and I got some balls. <laughs> no homo. I got um uh, I got um uh, who was who was the I got um the boy young sledgems. And, and um and drunken master, <laughs> you know what? He didn't technically get drunk. He it was medicine. <laughs> I power the seven rock. You so crazy, not like gang bitch. <laughs> oh man, oh man, not again. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm done. I, I cannot breathe right now. I can't breathe, yo. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe right now. I cannot breathe. <laughs> because. Because why? Like, yo, we got this, these Master Zandrids. What else we getting, bro? Like, what are these? What are these? What we got? Okay. We, we got we got some, some power. We got some balls. We got Zach from that movie I ain't watched. Because I ain't watched it. Because I ain't watched it. Like. I'm a fan of this stuff, and I still ain't watched the Power Rangers movie. I just sat down and like had the time. You would think I would, but just haven't. But but yeah. Um. Oh look, I got a. I'm like I'm finna get 15 crystals. Let's watch a commercial, y'all. Oh no! Look, it's my real daddy, Mark Paul Gossard. <laughs> It's my real daddy. He like, he like, I needed a new job. It's all right. I'm in this scary show on Fox. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, man. Nah, nah, hold on. Let me get that off the screen. Like, for YouTube, like, I'm trying to steal content, dog. The past. I'm going to put that back up real quick. Like, watch it on Fox. Watch it on Fox. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, they should have never gave me a mic. That was a mistake. No, what the heck? No, 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 get me back to my video game, bruh. No, man. I mean, my, give me my crystals. Like, hey, look, you got some crystals. I mean, you get that real close, so you got some crystals there. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a thing. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think it's my squad because. I'm like I'm in the middle of fighting Sledge right now, and I'm trying to think is my is my crew. Cause has it been 12 hours yet? It'll be 12 hours in an hour and 50 minutes. Okay, cause I was playing this morning. I, I'm waiting for my whole squad. I'm like, and it's one per battle or whatever, so that's not bad. But let, let's get out of this. I knew it looked familiar. I do not believe that they did that, but you know what? They had to put a website together for this video game. I'm going to bring it back to Google motherfucking Chrome, but I'm warning you. From, from this point forward, given that I've already gone through the majority of this information, we not done yet. But back to Google motherfucking Chrome. Okay, Google motherfucking Chrome, we back in the building. Um, This is Jim Moran. You, 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 you know her, you love her, Mao Ichimichi, blah, 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 blah. Oh look, it's this dude. You know, you, you you know him. You know what I'm saying? He he sit up here like he blow food and a big ass motherfucking dragon come out and whoop your motherfucking ass. Cause you know what time that is? It's Tommy Olivar. Look, read this evil spell on time it was broken and he joined the Power Rangers. Like I remember that. Like yo, Greenwood Evil. Like regardless of what you may say, I think has been some of the best television I ever watched in my life. Like dude, I was like yo every day yo, cause I think yeah, at that time I watched that stuff when I was in daycare yo. It be like yo, you be in school like yo, like yo, you think you you Tommy gonna whoop they ass right, dude? One of the greatest moments of my life is when Tommy broke in a Megazord, kicked the ass off the Megazord, dude. I'm sitting up for like you sitting up for the whole time watching Power Rangers, like yo, this squad unstoppable. One dude in green whooping y'all ass, and it's just like massive hell. <laughs> Like, wow! I think that was probably one of my earliest memories of people catching elves, dog. Power Rangers catching elves from Evil Rangers, dog. Like, yo, Kimberly walked up on Tommy. Like, what's up, boo? How you doing? Shut up, bitch! I whoop your ass. You tell your boy, you tell him, Zord, I read the rules, motherfucker. West Side! And I'm like, damn! Savage. I'm just like, no. But man, that's one of my greatest memories. When the man Tommy was giving him the blues, boy. Tommy walk around like, yo, what's up, Jason, little bitch? Tiger. And I'm just like, Tommy a goon. And I love it. Hold up. We them boys hold me like my face. I'm getting hot up in here. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, now, Tommy a good guy, but he gonna lose his powers and then get other powers and then get other powers. And then I ain't watched that special yet, but he got a morpher to let him turn into any mode he want to. So it's like, hope he, that's a playable character. See, that character would be like, would be like Ryu and Marvel versus Capcom 1. Sit up here, you be, you be doing Green Ranger shit, turn into Black Dino Thunder Ranger mid-combo and shit. <laughs> okay, somebody need to do that. Like, somebody get in Mugen. Make this happen, like, right now. Like, swear. Because ain't no real, ain't nobody gonna really do this, though. But, like, make a Tommy that can turn into all of form like Ryu for Marvel 1, dude. I'm like, yo, if we're going to say this, because I've said some of this before, but I will say this now. Two of the best characters ever in fighting games came from the Versus series. That being Rogue from X-Men vs. Street Fighter, and that being Ryu from Marvel 1. Because you really don't see a lot of what those characters bring to the table. And even then, it's like the way I appreciate, like, I appreciate Rogue. You know what I'm like, good night, sugar. I appreciate Rogue, dog. Swear to God. Like, she is one of my most favorite fighting game characters ever. Because that was something so unique back in the day. Like, yo... Like, yo, give give them a kiss still a power you that against them, yo? Sickness. And it really ain't got much better than that sense. But, like, yo, I'm just saying. That'd be dope. Get him a master morpher. Let him do more. Like, sit up here, hit him with the stun. It's morphin' time. Whoop your ass, bitch. And I'm just like, <laughs> do it. Do it. That could be part of my hypothetical fighting game we talked about in the last video. Do that shit. Immediately. Oh. Oh, it's comic book guy. He like, yo, 
I'm from the alternate universe. Watch that nigga. Fuck your hood. Now I run your hood. Then I'm like, if you ain't read the Boom comic stuff, you should do that. Like I'm like I'm like I heard all the good stuff. I found out about this nigga. I'm like, okay, you want me to read some stuff? I did. Whatever. I'm just like, yo. I appreciate what those comics do for this thing that I love and that it being its own thing and now it's just getting more ridiculous in a great way because those comics are able to do what the shows can't because of budget, because of Toei, you know, because of Toei, because of Toei and sometimes maybe because of Ben I am coming. I'm kind of surprised that given that this is a fighting game on a console dealing in characters that get licensed through all of that, that I'm surprised Ben and Echo in on the mic. I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that. I do wonder, and the question you probably have, I wonder if, like, on some real shit, is Ryu Ranger going to be in this game? That would be kind of dope to bring back that stuff, like, crossover characters, because the one thing I want for Street Fighter V is the Ryu Ranger costume in Street Fighter V. Like, I would never use that motherfucking costume ever, but I'd pay money to have it. But but Capcom is like nerfing the game left and right when it comes to actually you spending money. And if we're going to talk about that, I accidentally spent 70000 fight money by clicking X on a stage. We're trying to see how much it cost on PSN for a video I was trying to do. And it's like, hey, you can buy the stages now on for like 20 bucks and... It's like, well, it's not as worth it, but they'll be on sale soon enough. Da, 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 da. But Ryu Ranger Street Fighter Five, I'd buy it with money. Just, just put that out there. I'd buy it with money. Regardless of that, moving right along here, let's take a look at these pictures. Oh wait, that's the that's the that's the video. We don't want to see this. No, we don't want to see the video. Like we've seen that. Like yo, that's kind of dope. That's the mad sickness right there. I like that. That's mad sickness. This is equally mad sickness. See, I, I like this. The whole squad. Hold up. We them boys. Hold up. Like Super Mega Force. Mm, you looking all thick and whatnot. Oh, 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 Jason finna go for his. He finna go for his super special. And we back to this trailer again. But yo, that look kind of dope. I got a feeling one of these is gonna be the um, gonna be the thumbnail for this. Um, it's probably gonna be either this one. Or not that one, or this one, because this look kind of dope. I, I like this. I like this. This is kind of dope. So moving right along, I don't think it's nothing. It's yeah, it's this like. Oh, hold up! Oh, oh, oh! We got stuff. Okay, very diverse villain team combat over both of them. Okay. Oh, this is a. Oh, wow. Okay, they had a whole. They had a whole PR spiel for this stuff. Let's see if we can get some information out of this. I'm not going to read all this. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Um, one of the things that I didn't scroll over is that one of the things that I thought was because of what this is, is that Hasbro. Hasbro is in the mix now. So I don't know that, you know, y'all sitting up here doing that, nah, 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 hey, hey, Ham Saban, goodbye. But, you know, it's good to know that this is going to stand long after that stuff transfer over and something about Beast Morphers and maybe Zooja or something, but we won't talk about that. Um... Let me see. I'm trying to scroll through this really quickly. I'm going to let y'all read this because some of this stuff is stuff I literally want to move or that I wanted to to do over. Let me see. Uh-huh. Let me see. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through this. I hope y'all reading along because I'm not. I said I wasn't gonna read all it because there's some stuff I want to go over. It's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Good. We we know about that. Uh huh. It's good to know y'all supporting that. Real talk. It's good to know that Hasbro is going to continue supporting the stuff. Because I, cause I made a video a while back about that Power Rangers game that went up a couple years ago that's on digital right now. I forget the name of it. Thinking that when Hasbro took over, it was going to shut down. 
given this, it may not. They may just sit up and say Hasbro own it now, the end. But you still should probably buy if you're interested just in case it don't happen that way. So, <laughs> uh huh, blah, blah, blah. Uh huh, Hasbro blah. Okay. So, we're going to fully go over this pre order stuff because I don't think, because I read the pre order tab and they don't fully go into depth. You know what I'm saying? That. You get the season one pass, and you get the. Uh, I, they don't say none of this about three new characters: the arcade story and the new warrior skin, the Lord Dracon Evo two, and the um and a pink ranger character skin. So that's kind of dope. So, I, I don't think it's nothing under their social tab. I don't think we will take a look real quick. That's for shits and the giggles. Um, people tweet network, son. Tweet network, you know, Facebook and the Twitters and all that old good stuff. You know, it was all good. So, let's get to the meat and the potatoes. Because, let me see how this looks. Because I'm going to pull back up me. Um, I'm trying to think whether or not I should move me. I'm just going to, I'm just going to scroll. I'm just, we just scrolling through. I just want to take a look to see where my face is in reference to that. Yeah, I am going to move me because, you know. I'm gonna move me. Uh, move me. I don't know why I'm gonna move me. I want to go. Do I want to go here? Like I don't think it matter for real because I'm blocking some information no matter what it is that I do. I'm just gonna stay put. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay put. Let's soar back up to the top. Yeah, you saw this at the end of the trailer, ladies and gentlemen. You saw this. That if you pre-order this game, you get this right here, which makes me kind of want to pre-order a game that. I'm, it's still weird about pre-ordering digital video games. That's still a weird thing. I kind of wish I would have did that with EDF5, but I didn't have $90 on stash. So I couldn't, and now I don't have some exclusive weapon. So here's hoping Limited Run Games actually gets that or something, or somebody get it, and then so it have all the pre-order content in there too. So that's what I'm waiting on. That's why I ain't bought it yet. But I'm still in plan 4.1. And I still ain't bought Wing Diver yet to shoot it, so we got stuff to work on. But anywho, yeah, we can pre order this or whatever. Yeah. So, Digital Collector's Edition. That we talked about this. You get the game download, you get you get the, the uh, bonus skin, the digital art book, you get the season one pass, another Dracon outfit, and an alternate Pink Ranger skin. Um. The standard edition is just everything but that. Um, the link isn't available yet for the PS4. But here's the thing: when you get the Xbox, when you get when you pre-order the Xbox One version, is that you get a second free code to give to one of your homies. That's kind of dope, for real. Like I think that is a cool thing to do. That if you pre-order the game, you get another one to give to your homie. So may maybe maybe I'm just putting this out there. Just like kids on some hustle shit. Maybe you want to split this with a friend of yours. I don't know. Maybe you might go, yo, put 20, put 20. Let me get it. But the, here's the other question though. Do you get that for the standard? You do. You get it for the standard joint. So, the thing is, is that I don't know whether or not this is a... A digital version, a, a digital deluxe version, and probably given that information, it probably won't be. So maybe splitting it with a homie may not be so bad because you get two games, things like that. So I'm not necessarily sure how you should, but still the same stuff on there. Switch is the same except you don't get no code to give away, and the Steam version is all of that too. Um, and it says at the bottom, just so you know. The PC version will be released after the console versions in 2000 and summer of this year. So, let me take a look at the standard edition real quick, same with stuff. So, that's an interesting thing. So, if you are, if you are interested in this game in any way and you're trying to get on this work, you may want to go ahead and get $40 and do that because unless they have plans to sell this stuff later... I wouldn't take that chance. If you if you're remotely interested in anything that you see, I would go ahead and pre-order it. And I'm thinking about breaking my taboo because I really don't legitimately given the way that this read and what it is and what it's based off of. I don't know whether or not this will ever get a physical release in any way. So 
all I'm saying is, I'm going to keep you up to date the best way I can. So if anything changes about a physical release, I will let you know ASAP. I will let you know, but giving away all this information is red. Given that this is based off a of mobile game itself and things of that nature, if you think if you looking if you looking at this stuff and you like yo, that Pink Ranger joint look kind of dope, my dude. You might want to go ahead and put the forty on it, call it a day, cause you're gonna pay forty for a day one anyway. So I'm think I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about this might be the game that I might just put forty on, but. I might have to. I might have to get in one of my fam for the lick, though. I might have to get in one of my people for a lick, though, for some PSN points or whatever. Um, if anybody know where I can get Japanese Gen points on the cheap for PSN, somebody let me know. Cause again, I said this. I, I need to be playing um the Geki book called Finding Climax Ignition. I brought on letting you know. Um, so I need to get that DLC character. Cause I, I I've been waiting for that DLC character to drop in price, and it never happened. So, I guess at this point, you're just going to have to pay $8 for it, and you're going to have to hold this in hell. But, you know, it is what it is with that. Um, so, bring it back to me, for real. Yo! Alright! Um, well, there you have it, at least for now. Let me, let me get the congregation in. The, got the congregation with me, always hold me down. It's yo. This is going this is to be something. Whether whether this is gonna be that goodness or whether it's gonna be that boo boo, yeah, I had to steal that. I stole that too, just like I steal everything else. Robin stealing, raping, and killing a team GRF exclusive. You better know what it is. So if this game that boo boo. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, hold up. Boo boo meter. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. But seriously, like. I am interested to see what this thing is. And I'm not pre-ordering this until I get some real actual answers on some footage. Like, if you're thinking about it and if you're a fan and you want to get your hands on it, that's fine. I still need to be convinced that I need to spend $40 on this. That if you tell me where well, this stuff will be out in six months, a nigga can wait. I have no problem with that in any way. It won't be the first time I waited on some content to become available and never become available. But that's another conversation. That's another reason why I say that if you were remotely interested in it, get it. Because there are things you can't get without workarounds nowadays. And that's just rap. I'm just putting, I'm just going to keep it one million. It is things that you can't even get without workarounds or not at all because of how things work. Because I have heard it all. I've heard that there are things that, that were pre-order bonuses in America. But because how European laws work, you can still get it in Europe. For some reason, there are a whole bunch of games like that. There are games where, again, where that pre-order bonus was exclusive to GameStop, but you can go on a Singapore store and download it for the U.S. version and use it. Shit crazy. So, if you're looking at this and you think you want it, put the 40 on it because I'm thinking that's what's going to be. You know what I'm saying? Because given if they come out with prices, I bet you that season passed probably 20 bucks. So you might as well if you was gonna pay forty four in the end anyway, might as well pay forty four up front. I'm not sitting up here, you know, trying to be devil's advocate or anything, but think about it for real, straight up think about it. Like, cause I, I'm considering it. Like, I'm like at this point, this is something I'm definitely interested in, but I do have questions. Man, your ball is there gonna be a physical release version? Will these things that are pre-order bonuses be released later? Who knows? Depending on how that is, I may want to piecemeal it later, but. I definitely need to see some gameplay footage. I need somebody to explain to me, fighting game Dr. Genius, how this works. Show me how it works. Show me that it's something worth investing in and like, yo. So, until then, we're going to take invisible money. I'm going to put this in invisible money, $40 PSN, and I'm going to put it in a ball here. I'm just going to talk it over to the congregation. They're going to hold on to that for me. We might have to go get that ball later. I got hope that I can go reach over there, get that ball, and uncrumple it, and then, you know, spend some money on this game. Because if they convince me this game is worth having, I'm going to get it. That's just what it's going to be. It can't be nothing else other than what it is. Regardless of that, though, we got more show for you. Given that this has been a heavy news day with Mortal Kombat doing this thing, it was something I was supposed to do this morning that I ain't done. But I'm going to get to that after these commercial messages get that set up. And we're going to be right back to the work. So, it is what it is. So... Sit back, relax, and stay tuned. You know what? Uh, you know who I am. 
You know what we had and you know what we do. We will be doing more of that and then so for you right after these commercial messages. <laughs> I'm literally seriously excited about this because like I said in the last video, this is what I wanted anyway. This is what I legitimately wanted anyway. And if this could really deliver those goods and be a great Power Rangers fighting game, we in for a treat. And if we ain't, we ain't. I'll hold out whatever hope I got and just keep it on the table. And I'll take my hype and I will distribute it as needed. More sure after these.